What's up guys, today we're going to be checking out how to install or upgrade a custom ROM. So if you're new to this, then this is the right place. So I'm going to be telling you each and every step, like teaching to a beginner. So the things that are required for this are definitely a rooted phone. So I'm going to be using the Moto E and installing custom ROM is pretty much the same in every devices, every Android devices. So this is the Moto E and I will be upgrading uh, the custom OS that is already installed inside and I have installed CyanogenMod Mod 11. So the link for the custom ROM is given in the description below, you can go and check it out. So it's every custom ROM you can find it in one place, it's the XDA link for the Moto E original Android development and you need custom recovery installed in your phone either TWRP or CWM, anything works and it's the same in both of them. I'll be using TWRP in my case. So, we'll get started quickly. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so like I told you already before, um, that I've installed a custom ROM named the Cyanogen Mod 11 and I'll just be upgrading it. So you need to download the custom ROM whichever you want. But installing custom ROM also has a big risk that your device might not boot at some cases if you go wrong. So it's better if you follow this video but I'll also be telling you safety tips as we progress through the video. Now you need to, uh, once you have switched off your phone, you just need to switch off the phone and you need to place the downloaded custom ROM zip file in your SD card because uh, placing it in internal uh, storage will be a big foolishness because that consumes storage and since I'm using the Moto E we do have problem with the internal storage in this device. Alright so let's get booted into the recovery mode. Now to do that you just need to hold the power button and the volume down key for a few seconds and then let them go. Alright so once that's done this is the bootloader. You need to use the volume down key to navigate so we just tap it once we are in recovery and then tap the up volume to get into recovery now if you don't know how to install uh, a custom recovery like the TWRP or CWM right now I'm using the TWRP it's the same in CWM too now before even we flash a new custom ROM we first need to back up the phone so that when something goes wrong, you can easily restore it. So for that, what we're going to be doing is click on backup. Now you can select whatever you want to backup. So I don't want cache and I don't want boot. So if you want your games and other stuff safe, then you need to backup the system and data. So we just swipe to backup. Alright, so the backup process is done. If you got a message saying backup complete, successful, then that's great. Uh, don't just hit the reboot system button. You just need to get back and directly go to the home. Alright, so you can see a restore option here. So if your device does not boot and the, this stays in the boot animation or in the boot logo, then just go to restore and head towards the directory wherever you have stored the backup. I have just now backed up my data in my SD card. So I go there and it automatically detects the backup. So you can select it and swipe to restore it. So we're not going to be doing that right now. All right, so installing a new custom ROM. As I said, I'll just be upgrading, but I'll be telling you how to install a new custom ROM. So for that, you need to go to wipe and then it's better you go to advanced wipe and select Dalvik cache system data do not select internal storage and then cache so installing a new custom ROM wouldn't erase anything in your internal storage or micro SD card suppose you just don't select them while swiping to wipe these directories alright so then you just need to swipe to wipe all these and clear off the phone once that's done, it would ask you to reboot the phone. Do not do that. Get back and then head towards install. 
Now, depending on wherever you have stored the ROM zip file, as I said, if it's in the micro SD card, select that and then hit OK. And then go wherever you have saved it. Alright, so I've navigated to the micro SD card and here is the CM11 zip file. So, important note omit the wiping step if you are just upgrading the same OS again. So I'm already running on CyanogenMod Mod 11, that's CM11. And this is the newer version, so I'm just going to be upgrading. You don't need to wipe if you're just upgrading. But if you're installing a custom ROM for the first time, then you need to do that wiping step and then install a custom ROM. I can directly flash it. Now, important thing to note is that you shouldn't panic at any cost. So if you just panic and turn off your phone, then that will cause a major disaster like breaking your device. So you don't need that. And another important note, you need to have a good battery life left so that it does not get switched off while the flashing progress is on the way because uh, that does take time. And for the first boot, it always takes time. So just don't think yourself that it's in boot loop. All right? So just be, wait with patience. If not, then you can turn off the phone and then restore the data which we just backed up. All right, once the zip is selected, you just need to swipe to confirm the flash. And then this process takes time again. All right, so we have successfully flashed the ROM and ready to reboot the system directly, or you can wipe cache and Dalvik again and then reboot the system. So we're just gonna reboot the system directly. And then wait for the device to boot. Now booting does take time, do not judge that it's in boot loop or something. Okay. And you can check the other ROM reviews that I've done already. The link is given in the description below. One more important note is that once the device is booted, you will not find any Google Apps, not even the Play Store installed in your phone. So none of the custom ROM comes with any Google Apps. You need to install that by flashing zip file just like you flash the ROM. But hey, in flashing Google Apps, you don't need to do any wiping things. You just need to fl place the downloaded zip file in your SD card and then navigate to it. Just hit install in the TWRP. Then head towards the directory wherever you have placed the Google Apps and then simply flash it. You don't need to do any wiping stuff. And then once flashed, reboot the device and boom, you're there with your Google Apps in your phone. Alright, so this says that my device is booted and Android is upgrading, which means op it's optimizing app for the latest Cyanogen Mod 11 OS that I just installed. So that was it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found this video to be helpful, then do like the video, leave a thumbs up, and if you still have any queries, um, feel free to leave it on the comments below, and I'll be there 24 into 7 to help you out. And that was it. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.